Alright, so we're back at Tim's to review the 2021 Street Bob with the 114. This is the Baja orange color option. You can also get this bike in black with the orange graphic, stonewashed white with a black graphic, or the Deadwood green with a black graphic. So this is the first year that Harley's offered the 114 on the Street Bob, which now means that five of their seven cruisers have the 114. The only two that didn't get it was the Sport Glide and the Softail Standard. So as you know, we always start these walk-arounds looking at the tank design. I really like this logo on this bike. I also like the black with the orange. Those are probably my two favorite. Uh, I really like that one design that Harley does on there. I like the font they used for Harley. I like the shape of the tank on these Street Bobs too. Uh, it's got kind of a custom look. And for all those that were upset about the gas cap on the touring bikes being moved off to the side, this one is centered. Like we said, this is the first year of the 114 on the Street Bob. And this is a super fast bike. Um, Honestly, I felt like the 107 was plenty of motor for this frame, and now they've stepped it up even more. This is the same design on the handlebar clamp as they've been doing with all the digital gauges. I really like that. It keeps everything clean and simple. So for those that haven't seen that, we'll turn the bike on really quick. So everything you need to know is right here. And for those that are thinking about switching your handlebars, I know the T-bar is a good option for the Street Bob. A lot of guys switch over to that. Uh, these can be relocated. A great addition for this year is Harley is offering these with that passenger pillion as well as passenger foot pegs from the factory. I mean, not a ton of money if you bought like the 2020 and had to put it on there. It's just nice that they offer it. If you're not running a passenger and you want that look, that sleek look, all you have to do is unscrew it, it comes off. The Street Bobs do come factory with these mid controls, but with those taller style bars and the way the seat is, you are a little more stretched out. I found this is super comfortable for me. Um, I can still handle the curves fine. Doesn't really seem to affect anything. Just something I wanted to point out. And now it's time to have some fun. So this bike came off the truck uh, Friday and I was super excited to ride it, but I didn't ride it. I saved it all for today. So we are riding this bike together for the very first time. Uh, some of the sales guys rode it and they're like, man, you gotta ride it. I was like, nope, I gotta stay true to the channel. Also, uh, about 99% of you are super pumped right now because as you can tell, we moved the GoPro up which has been a big topic of debate <laughs> on this channel. So I just, uh, I moved it from the chest mount up to, it's on like the mouthpiece of my helmet. Normally I'm not this guy that, cause this lane runs out in this red light, this right hand lane. Normally I'm not the guy to like try to take off and get in front of everybody, but it's safer and Honestly, I just want to open this bike up and see what we're working with. So we'll shoot in front of these cars real quick. Super smooth. Bar position feels good. I like a T-bar, Dynabro style, if you will. But um, it, it handles a little different and it looks way better to me. But these feel fine. Uh, the mid controls feel good. Seat feels pretty good too. It's kind of got that little bump in the back. So I feel like if we hammer on the throttle, we can uh, we can avoid sliding back. Good thing we weren't doing it there. I don't know if you guys just saw that. It was 
police officer. I think I know that guy. Uh, I'm pretty friendly with the local law enforcement for other reasons, so might have been okay, but let's don't push our luck. Also, I forgot my gloves, and I can feel that now, but no biggie. Kind of taking things a little more easy right now. say that as we go pretty fast uh, what I was meaning was in these curves uh, where I live got snow down here at the dealership doesn't look like they did just trying to make sure the roads weren't too wet or too cold to get good traction Dude, this bike is literally like a little rocket Also, uh, when they announced the 114 in the street, Bob, I was thinking it would be like an upgrade option, but it's not. It's just, if you want a street, Bob, in 2021, and I would assume forward, you get this big motor. That, as you can see, and probably here, it's tons of fun. Man, little bumpy on the bridge test. Also, the speed at which we hit it may have had something to do with it, so we won't dock it too many points on that. And I'm super concerned about the wind noise in the GoPro right now, just because we moved it up so much more. I feel like it's picking up wind. So any guys that do like moto vlogging or run a GoPro just for their own personal use, um, if you have a, a method to kill the wind noise, while riding, please let me know because I'd like to maintain the sound of the bike and do away with the wind noise. So uh, I've got I've got a few ideas, but if there's any tried and true ways, so open it up real quick. And that was just to fourth. That wasn't, you know, winding the bike out super hard. That was taking it easy on it. And as you can see, pretty dang quick. So, you can imagine, you know. And for once, uh, any of you guys that have watched any of the other review videos know that every single test ride we've ever done has been overcast. I think this is the first sunny one. And I'm digging it. I love the way this orange looks in the sun. This is just a sharp bike. Like I said earlier um, in the walk around, I also really like, at least in photos, because this is the only color I've seen in person on this bike. I also really like the black that has the orange decal on it. I think that one would probably be my choice if I were buying the Street Bob, but I don't hate this orange, especially for like visibility reasons. I know that's kind of cliche and a lot of guys, you know, kind of run that into the ground, but I gotta feel like it's true. You know, a bright orange bike, and surely they're gonna see that a little more than black. Tons of power, tons of get up and go. And I can only imagine this bike. Oh, let him go. I get it. That's a terrible place to turn in. So. Also, we might have been going a little fast, so no harm, no foul. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, I can only imagine this bike with some power adders, and this thing would be awesome. But uh, no tuners until mid-March, I believe. So no other tuners can be used with these bikes except for the Harley tuner. And those aren't available until mid-March. So if you're buying a bike or planning on buying a bike, you can go ahead and purchase you know, any 
upgrades that require tuning if you want, but don't install those until the tuners are out because your bike's just going to run terribly and you're not going to have a fix for like another month and a half. And I know people have mixed feelings on that, you know, not allowing the, uh, the aftermarket tuners other than Harley. So uh, drop me a comment below if you catch this part of the video on your thoughts on that. I know a lot of guys love that Vance and Hine tuner because uh, it came with the app and you could do everything from your phone. Honestly, maybe because I have access to dealerships, I've just always had mine tuned on the dyno uh, by one of the technicians that really knows how to dyno a bike and I've left it alone. I've also only ever run Harley tuners in the past anyway. Again, access to the dealership. So I don't know that I would be really messing with it in the app. I feel like it would be really easy to get things off, but again, I've never messed with it. So it could be fairly simple, straightforward. I don't know. Well, seems like we've hit a lot of traffic towards the end of this ride. At least we got to open it up a good bit. Uh, to summarize this thing super quick, I am a huge, huge fan of the Street Bob. I was already, and now that it's got a 114, it's, it's a no-brainer. If you were even slightly considering the Street Bob, I say go for it. I also say uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not. I promise we have some really good stuff coming other than just these reviews. Uh, like the video, watch some more, leave me a comment, do all the normal YouTube stuff, and thanks for watching, guys.